All right, everybody, welcome back to Kremio's Adventure in Baldur's Gate 3. I got some news. Whether you consider this news to be good or bad is something we're about to find out because uh, I had some issues. So I accidentally just kind of updated something for the game. And um, yeah, I've, ha I've been having issues. So I did actually kind of just play for a little bit and I got to delete these saves because they are not good. Um... Here's the problem. I kind of updated like, uh, I don't know, about 800,000 kilobytes or something. 800 kilobytes. I don't know. Steam just said, yeah, you know what you're going to do today? You're going to update your game, brother. And I was like, no, please. And I kind of stopped the update or something. Or I tried to. And then my game just wouldn't perform so here's hoping you're you're seeing this you know boom you're seeing me doing it live here's hoping the game actually loads up properly because i already had one attempt at recording this i've played through like two hours and um let me just say we had issues mm. and as per usual since i'm doing it in the morning i'm either gonna be sipping some coffee or in this case um good old monster energy drink because i did not have time to prepare any coffee today all right well so far so good oh sh fuck <laughs> okay okay well at least my encoder is not overloaded but <clears throat> while i wait for the game to load let me actually tell you guys what we're gonna be doing so because this is gonna be taking a while so, um, here's the thing. Since I updated the game and I already kind of played through, well, what I played, I already kind of know what's going on here. So, here's the thing. Uh, there's like a courtyard here and uh, there's a clown and there's gonna be a fight here because this clown dude just wants to kill everybody here for whatever fucking reason. So, I'm not gonna be doing that anymore. Uh, I just told you what's gonna happen. I'm gonna skip but first let me actually see if i can afford to skip mm. i could use another level i could really really use another level because you never know i just realized my ac on kremiel is still 15 and uh, i found out the hard way that um, I believe last time we leveled Kremiel up, uh, something happened, and the game just decided, you know what you're gonna be today? Not undead anymore. So I am guessing, since Shadowheart is, well, not a thing anymore, you know. Direct me. Let me check if that's the, the case for Gale as well. Because Kremiel did actually die in my attempt. No, he, he is undead, but for whatever fucking reason, Kremiel is not undead anymore. That is crazy. So, just, Kremiel just randomly came alive, if you know what I mean. So now we have uh, actual death on our main character. Oh, that's sad, bro. Mm. Well, we're gonna have to try hard a little bit. Okay. Has the game loaded in? Kinda, not really yet. Okay, so. <clears throat> let me continue with what I was saying. Also, I hope Lolis is acting a little bit more alive. Because I've seen her, yeah. Sometimes, Lolis just kind of freezes. So I have uh, changed the hook compatibility for OBS. And I'm hoping she doesn't freeze on screen anymore. When I'm playing the game. Okay, so. There's the circus here. And uh, I already know what's happening there. There's a clown. My dude has a blink doggy. That just teleports around. There's like a dinosaur. Uh, like a raptor or something. Trapped. In there. You know what? Let me just show you guys. So. <clears throat> apparently it doesn't show up right now. Because I haven't triggered the cutscene. And the clown's not here. But that's what it, what happens. There's a... Uh, one of those panthers with with three tentacles in here. And dude's gonna 
get out. There's like two of those, I think, if I recall. There's a, a raptor here, small dinosaur. And then th they're just a bunch of changelings, okay? Like, like three changelings and the blink doggy and the clown or something like that. And then the beasts that are trapped. And then the fight's gonna start and I don't really want to go through the thing again, so I'm gonna skip. It, honestly, it's not important. It's really not important. So I, since I've already done this in an attempt to record the video, I am gonna completely skip the area, okay? Now, here's the thing. Here, if you go through this, like so, okay, and you reach this area here, this ship you're seeing here, um, it's a ship from Moonrise Towers, apparently. Okay, I don't really want to go there anymore. But the thing is, here, I'm going to tell you guys, because some of y'all may have skipped this area completely. So, down here, there's like a fight with some pirates or something. And uh, if you press Alt to see the items, um, there is one of those uh, tadpole canisters there. So, if you want to get that, just go there, add the ship, get that. I'm not going to get that because I don't care for the tadpole powers this playthrough specifically. Um, I know Wolbren, after we leave this area, he's going to be down there somewhere beneath the church, if I recall. But for that, I think we need to trigger something again. Uh, oh, yeah. I'm gonna go trigger the thing we gotta trigger right now. So, I remembered. It's fine. It's It's been a full day since I've tried to record again. Gail, does this thing belong to you? The fuck? It is! It's Tara! What's she doing all the way out here? Gail's cat? Randomly? Okay, I... See, this is good. This is good. This is shit that matters, kinda. It's Gail's cat. And there's a letter. And uh, I've never seen this before. <laughs> Tara! That can't be you, can it? Bro. My, is that a ring? For us. Okay, at least my encoder is not being you overloaded now. Enjoy yourself now, Tara. But the game is You've actually struggling. Quite nicely here. The game is literally struggling to load everything in. So, I don't know if it's Act 3 in general that is problematic. Because I have kind of looked into it and some people have had issues, but... I think it's just a small accidental update that I've done. I am still on the same game version, it's just something has been updated. And I think it's affecting the game in a bad way. Okay. She isn't my Trezim. She's my friend. And from the looks of things, it appears she's eating pigeons. <laughs> Alright, um... You know, I don't care. Cats eat pigeons, it's normal. We got a ring of blink. Really? Ring. Where is the ring? The fuck is the ring of blink I just got? Is it on Gale? That would make sense. Okay, what the fuck does blink do again? <laughs> huh. I've never used Blink. I know, it's crazy. I should... Oh my god, excuse me. I should give this to Trixie, actually. Because, um... Good old Trixie over here has flight, but it's a spell. <laughs> so, this, this one right here is actually kind of balanced, you know? I don't need invisibility or blur. I do feel like Blink might be useful. I don't know if I wanna... Oh, I remember. She can't use shields. Okay. Is that blood? No, never mind. Yep, that's the blood of the pigeons. Alright, so we are skipping clown territory. 
We found Gale's friend cat. Apparently. That's a first, by the way. I've never seen the cat before. So, let me actually go and trigger what we have to trigger. Okay. So, what I gotta trigger is at the gate. Okay. There we go. Alright. So, we are going straight for the story because I get the feeling that... Uh... Oh, and by the way... Who the fuck is Stelmain? Okay, well, I just got story. Interesting. Alright, we sleep. Yes, we sleep. We go to camp. Because I just got something that I did not get last time. <laughs> For whatever reason, I got an... Oh, never mind, it's Vlacket. <laughs> I'm sorry. I already know about this. And still, you speak my name. I've seen the captive Orpheus with my own eyes. Spoken to Gestil Kithrak Vos. You lied to us. Enslaved us. The betrayer Vos lies! Nah. Only a moment, and you so she's gonna want us to kill Orpheus, but... We don't do that. We okay? We don't do that. Snuff out stars. We shake the planes. The traitor Voss has lied to you. The heretic prince would shatter us in an instant. The great dominion shrunk to the head of a pin. Also, I just found out that the game only has three chapters, so we are literally about to end the playthrough. Or simply a challenge to Vlacket's rule. Return to the astral prison. Slay Orpheus the Pretender. No, we don't do that. Serve me, and I will ascend you. You will be no mere warrior, nor Kithrak. You. Why does she have different dialogue? The fuck? Only my chosen. A final chance. No, we don't kneel. I'm sorry. So she has a little bit of a different um, dialogue than last time I I did this, or I attempted to anyway. Over her mind, Voss's words echo within it. She means to forever turn her back on Vlacket. Yup. So, you feel sleepy, huh? Why you eepy already? The hell? You know what? It's fine. Uh, why you being annoying again? Oh, she's freezing up again. Okay, let's see. Can I fix this? Uh, I will tell her to stand her ground because it's obviously the correct choice here. And you called me traitor. I gave you my life, and you ordered your knights to hunt me. Yup. I have witnessed too much, and you have given me too little. Finally, I can see. Orpheus will live, and I will hear his creed. This is my word. Yeah, I don't know what's going on with the. Uh... Why do you keep freezing? The hell? The Kithraki will bring you. I will tear your flesh from your bones and devour your skull's marrow. Will you beg? You will try. I will consume you. I will unmake you. By the way, um, I just found out. Because I had to research this. That uh, us being an Oathbreaker apparently does not affect the ending in any way whatsoever. So it, it quite literally doesn't matter, apparently. So here's the thing. There's apparently this dude that's supposed to show up at camp at some point. But 
Apparently it's bugged and this uh, Oathbreaker Night dude is not showing up and I'm not the only one that has noticed this, apparently. Volo left us a note, we don't care about that. So yeah, I'm gonna be looking for him again. He's probably not in my camp though. Because this Oathbreaker Knight should be here. Where Withers is, but he never showed up. So it is what it is. I will be continuing to be an Oathbreaker. It doesn't actually matter for the story apparently, but you get some extra dialogue and um, you're not bound by the Paladin Oath? Question mark? I don't know if it's good or bad, but it seems to not be bad. Okay? That's what I'm saying. That's what people are saying. The Oathbreaker is apparently, or at least it was in the patch that I am on, not a problem. It is done. There is no going back. Alright, I must as as do the dialogue is, and um, I'm gonna be eating in the process. Over the astral sea, never to cross the one in the void. As it should be. Better a short life built on truth than immortality woven of lies. Better to unite the Githyanki under a prince who would free their minds and honor their bodies. So why do I feel so bitter? I know hate. It seeds and distills into molten rock, forever rattling in the belly. But I've never known this. I feel no heat, no cold. I bear neither fangs nor talon. There is only... absence. No matter. I am Vlakith's child no more. I have been born anew in Gith's <laughs> son, my savior. No. And so from the old battle... She wants us to free Orpheus and we're not gonna do that. Because if we save Orpheus... Orpheus Sister, shut up! <laughs> May the comet blaze my path forward. If we free Orpheus, here's the problem with that. So, also I have to check. Yeah, okay, my reshade is working. Uh, it didn't last time I tried. Because the game just booted up in fucking Vulcan mode and I couldn't run direct, uh, DirectX uh, 11 mode, I think. I just couldn't play the game properly. And record. My encoder would just overload all the time. So, whatever that small update was. It, it fucked me good for at least a day. Which is why this video is delayed. Anyway, um, back to Orpheus. Uh, if we free Orpheus, the problem is that, if you recall, the octopus dude, good old uh, Illithid Emperor, um, told us that if we free Orpheus, he just kills us because of the tadpoles. Okay? So we don't do that. <laughs> at least not this playthrough. I will attempt at some point. Orpheus's freedom is my want and my need. To deny his freedom would be to deny my own. Yeah, I guess we just well, chain Lazel up. When I can think <laughs> about myself beyond the Lich Queen who enslaves the Githyanki and the Prince who would liberate them. But that time won't come until the Prince of the Comet flies again. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right, where is Carla? There we go. <sighs> Soldier, my engine. It hurts. I think this might be it. Soon. Things burning hotter than I knew it could. I want us both to be ready if... Well... If we can't fix me... You're fine. Just go burn Gortash and let off some steam and heat. Here, here. And hey! Kicking his ass might burn off a bit of this extra heat. Yup. 
I have yet to actually use the soul coins, by the way, or to figure out how to fix Scarlack. There's one of those moments where I don't... Listen. I don't know if I can fix her, okay? Alright, I think we are done with the camp. I'm gonna try to kind of just speed run to whatever we need to do. I'm gonna skip all the parts that don't actually matter that I have already played through, okay? Because it's no point in playing through those areas unless I want the EXP, and even though I want the EXP, I also don't want to be wasting my time. And considering I already know what's happening there, mm, yeah, no point. So let's just do what we have to do, okay? Because I think I've already dragged this series for too long. <laughs> Honestly. That said, to be fair, we kind of did need the levels. Ah, here we go. Good old Imperor. Good old Tentacle Lord. How did you... Oh. It's you. I must have let my mind wander. Enough for you to wander in. Forgive me. I am drained. Ever since you killed Ketherick and took his Netherstone, the Chosen's control of the brain has been... Brittle. It's rebelling against Orin and Gortash. Fiercely. I suspected that when we took Ketherick's stone, the brain would begin to break free. Those brain quakes confirm that my suspicion was correct. I do not know what happens now when it receives their orders. And I do not dare guess. You feel the Emperor's fear as if it were your own. An elder brain enslaved is one thing. An elder brain unleashed will be the end of everything. Beautiful, isn't it? The mighty Prince Orpheus, contained in submissive slumber. Come. You may as well sit a while, now that you are here. Your company isn't unwelcome. Let me just dump option number three here. You are correct. I should be. I'm haunted by memories. They are relentless. I can think of nothing. No one else. Indeed. Duke Stelmane. Or as I knew her, Berlin. When she was alive. You thought you were my first ally. Far from it. I have long sought the allyship of others. It is the only way to succeed. Though my relationship with Berlin was... different from my relationship with you. <clears throat> Manipulation. I see that you are unable to let that go. But do not forget that I trusted you with my life. As you trusted me with yours. Manipulation or not, we need each other. If you are wondering, Lolis is in fact frozen. <laughs> less dramatic. It's not only on the video, it's, it, she, she actually just froze. The animation is... I think that's it. Oh. A difficult task for a mind flayer. Duke okay. Stelmane trusted me, and the city trusted her. I conceived the plot. But Berlin took center stage. It was she who met with the merchants, politicians, and patriarchs. It was she who negotiated deals and signed off on agreements. Her rooms played host to the most important conversations in the city. Together, we brought order to chaos. At its height, everything that happened in that city went through the shield. Through us. I could not have done any of it without her. Just as I cannot do any of this without you. But now, she is gone. I'm sorry, I'm trying something. It's not really working. Anyway. Um. It's fine. 
the game is on screen. Um, Lolly skips freezing for whatever reason. I don't actually know why, by the way. Um. Hmm. Let me go with I'm sorry for your loss. I appreciate your understanding. What I feel is deeper than superficial cures can reach. And not entirely unwelcome. Most people think that Mind Flayers are soulless husks who feel nothing. I am glad you are not most people. Nope, we are not. So, how about... Uh, don't let your guard down again. I won't, <laughs> but I can do with your assistance. You remain attached to your physical form. I suggest you shed that attachment. We will do better against the Elder Brain, the more illithid we both are. Ah, this motherfucker keeps trying, huh? The brain is rebelling again. I need to focus. Alrighty then. Uh, by the way, after I finish this series, y'all should probably let me know. Do you want to see Baldur's Gate again, like straight up? Or do y'all want to see me play something else? Also, I do need to finish Black Mid Wukong, so that's probably gonna be first. Also, I do have to, well, um, kind of make another mod collection based on this one, but update it for whatever happened in patch 7. Also got a couple of other games that I may play on the channel at some point. Speaking of the other games, one of them will probably be Stellaris, yes. If you're wondering what the fuck that even is, um... I'm not gonna talk to Doggy. He is gonna give me a potion and I don't care for it right now. I already know because I did it previously. So, we leave. The Duke, Raven Guard, I think. I heard he's a good man. Let us talk to him. So, yeah. Please. If you want me to play, I don't know, just Stellaris or Elite Dangerous or. I actually got Scenes of the Solar Empire as well. Uh, Rebellion, not two. But it's modded. So. <laughs> yes, I am playing Scenes of the Solar Empire modded, straight up. Um, also, I was saying that I got an announcement. Um, if y'all want to see actual Dragon Ball gameplay, well, I got two options. There's Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2, the revamp mod overhaul, yes. And then there's Sparking Zero coming up next month. Do let me know. of Lord Gortash. Refugees are no longer allowed in the city. Turn oh, around. she's unfrozen. Let's go. I am not a refugee. I don't want to start a fight right now. I'm not a refugee. Do you have the means to support yourself? She's asking for the money, of course. My good lady. I am Will Ravenguard. You don't look like him. <laughs> enter my own city. Ravenguard? Ugh, more like the ghastliest tiefling south of Neverwinter. No refugees. It is decreed. I can take care of myself. Take the money. It's fine. Of the council's decree on oh, so we're gonna probably be jailed. I am confiscating that. The city thanks you for your contribution. Your name? <laughs> Daisy Dewdrop Fluffington. I'm sorry, that's the first time I see it. It didn't show up last time for whatever reason. My name, Kremiel. Well met, citizen. Mm hmm. This one's got a tadpole, by the way. Stairs. From the construct, you feel connection, resonance. State your business. Hmm. 
Ah yes, Jaheira is speaking and the game is showing a stadion. Uh, to be fair, the game is not made for 8 characters, or 7, or 5. <laughs> it's made for 4. Specifically 4. But why? The Watcher will communicate with our new intelligence directorate. Mm -hmm. determine if you're a threat to the city. Upstanding citizens have no reason to fear. And you are an upstanding citizen, aren't you? No. <laughs> uh. Sure. He's not gonna like it, and, um, yeah. He's gonna want the prisoners, you know. He wants to jail our asses. Because he knows who we are. My engine, it's almost... I don't know... Buzzing. Like it's paying attention. So somewhere in this city, there is somebody that can maybe fix... Karlak. I have yet to find out, though. cult's ever alert, scrying eyes. It has heard the howls of slaughtered goblins. It knows the cold walls of Moonrise Towers. And the cultists who fell there. The Watcher speaks directly into your mind with a voice like poisoned honey. You are marked for special treatment. Not simply an enemy of the people, but an enemy of the Absolute. Come quietly. Or die. Mm-hmm. So, here's the thing. I should probably consent to arrest because if I ready myself for a fight, I think it's gonna be problematic right now. Your peaceful surrender has been noted. You will be transferred to Worms Rock Prison, where you will await further sentencing. Mm -hmm. Eat this, you pile of junk! Mm -hmm. Alright, we gotta talk to Will. Uh, actually, we don't really have to, but we should. This unit is damaged. Men, women, children, all barred from entry. A damn travesty. A decade ago. Baldur's Gate would have welcomed any and everyone seeking refuge. Who would take in these souls, if not the Jewel of Baldurin? As long as Gortash is in charge, they'll be left shivering at the gates. All part of the plan, of course. Step one, create an army and order it to march on the city. Step two, shut the gates in the name of security. Step three, Bask in the applause. Gortash hasn't made Baldur's Gate safe. He's made it a prison. And when his army breaks through, the people will have nowhere to run. To make this city a safe haven, we'll need to bathe Gortash and his allies in their own blood. Mm -hmm. mm, they don't really receive like a message where Stalmain was dead earlier we leave by the way I don't care for the rest of the dialogue right now I think I can just enter the city right now because the dude malfunctioned alright so here's the thing I kinda just know Voss is up here because I done this previously. I kinda forgot how to get there though. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So I kinda just know that Voss is up here because I've been there while trying to figure out how the fuck to record this. Oh yeah. We just teleport everybody here and we enter. Mm-hmm. 
And Raphael is here as well. Because why not? You must hear me, devil. I will do whatever it takes. Give you anything you Now need. this is as much as I know, because I had no more time to troubleshoot last time. So it is what it is. But at least I kinda just sped up the end of the game. The Kithrak? What deal would he make with this devil? You must help me, Raphael. For the sake of my people. Hush now, Vos. These guests may not know it yet, but they want the same thing that you do. And unlike Oh, Trixie you, showed up. <laughs> they have something of value. She never speaks, by the way. Ever. Lazel. To Lac Magir. The devil holds the key to freeing the Gith people. Right here, right now. You could seal our fate. What is it? Whatever key? you discuss with this devil, I must hear of it. Find no, you don't. In the tap room, once you're loosed from his claws. <laughs> I like how there's a just a bunch of blood on the floor, by the way. Not to my door, not yet, but to the final reckoning. Okay. One more thing before we begin, though. I don't like this dude. This bitch keeps trying to mess with our heads. And I bet he's gonna try again, judging by what I'm seeing. I haven't seen this dialogue, by the way. I just knew Voss would be here because I saw him. Because I just opened the door, but the yeah. Your mind is clear. It's I'm sorry, did he just remove the tadpole? <laughs> Wouldn't that be exquisite? But no. I'm afraid the tadpole is still there. But I did shut out your other... Why the fuck would you do that? <laughs> so we can enjoy some... Privacy. The Elithid can't hear us. That's annoying. What's the catch? To be fair, I kind of trust good old um, octopus more than I trust the fucking devil. I'm not gonna lie. Oh, come. It's the reason you're in this predicament. Mm, no. And I'm your only way out of it. Indulge no. Me. <laughs> and at least hear me out. Brother, I'm not making a deal with the devil. I'm sorry. You've impressed me. I was not sure this playthrough anyway. This far. But no matter how far you come. I will attempt at some point. On the road Maybe next time. Hmm. A road that leads directly to a confrontation with the elder brain. The and best. that's what we want. It will kill you. And everyone else in this city. At worst, it will assimilate you, and you won't have enough free will left to even wish you were dead. You have the key hmm. to destroying it in the palm of your hand, though. Mm-hmm. The astral prism. In a manner of speaking, but it's the one... The Gith, obviously. It's Orpheus. Yup. Not the Elithid. The Gith. I... Can give you the means. No, we don't do that. Free. He's gonna wanna kill us all. Speak, actually. We're listening. No, shut up, Lizel. <laughs> Are you being annoying again? Yeah, Orpheus guards try to kill us. He dangerous, bro. To Elithids, yes. He would gladly execute the Emperor. But to you, he will be a friend. After no. all, like war with an elder brain. All the evidence does suggest Orvius is our enemy. If I'd realized you were so gullible, I'd have tricked you into selling your soul for a pocket full of beans when we first met. Bitch, I told you no like multiple times. Shut up. Nothing more than a beast of burden. One that will transport it to the elder brain. Mm-hmm. An ox requires food, and the occasional beating to keep it moving. You are simpler. The Emperor's words serve as both carrot and stick. 
Perhaps it is true that Orpheus would ally with you against the Elder Brain. But if he proves uncooperative once free, you may have to kill him. Mm -mm. Nah, we don't... We, listen, here's the thing. Not only do I trust the Emperor more than I trust Raphael, he is also the reason our tadpole hasn't turned us elected so far. Even though he told us to turn elected, but he gave us the option to not, you know? So, to be fair, I think not freeing Orpheus is the right call <laughs> if we want to stay alive and deal with the Elder Brain ourselves. So, for that specific reason, we're done here. I won't stop you, but time is running out, so don't stay away for long. If you see reason, I'll be here, waiting, right up to the moment the world ends. Can't you just whoosh yourself down in hell? What to do? Shouldn't have wished to live in more interesting... Oh, he just told us to fuck off. Wait. All right, let me just talk to Karlak, I guess. Damn! It can't have been easy for Lazelle to stand up to Vlacketh like that. But there's nothing that woman can't do. Okay, Karlak, you're like 20 minutes late with those comments. Maybe 10. Anyway. Oh my god, you got a lot of dialogue piled up. What the fuck? No, let's not leave uh, Karlak in camp. Is there... <sighs> Why you, do you have so much dialogue all of a sudden? What the fuck? I get everything again? So there's nothing new. Well, except for asking if she wants to be elicited. Yeah, we don't care about your relationship with uh, Gortash. We do care about what Lazel has to say right now. Shkaketh. You know Raphael holds the key to the prince's freedom, and you turned away. This shut up. Go to Raphael and hear him out, or tell Vos you failed him and the Githyanki I'm, I'm sorry, I really Let don't like Lazel. A pleasant reunion. I think uh, next time I may actually kill her off, like straight up. I kind of wanted to do that this playthrough at the start, but I decided not to because, yeah. There you are. Oh, hello. I thought I lost you. Something was blocking me from hearing your thoughts. Raphael, yes. Raphael. Well, thank you for your honesty. Of course, I should have known the devil. Sniffing. The stench of impending chaos is irresistible to them. And what did he want with you? Um, he knows how to free Orpheus. How interesting. No doubt he impressed upon you the need to do so. Obviously. And what did he want in return for this? Knowledge? Listen, I, life had, you know, no deals with the devil. <clears throat> Short. <laughs> I made that really short. <laughs> uh, okay. Um, I, I did a way to find out. You feel the touch of the Emperor's mind peeling at the edge of yours. Trying to Bitch, I was... Listen, I don't like this dude again. Its thoughts slide into yours, turning through them like fingers, sifting for answers. Which Motherfucker! Let me have some privacy. Holy shit! Good. I am glad, but be careful. No, I'm killing the emperor the first time. The first no attempt I get. It, it, it will always come back. I doubt this will be the last time you are approached. I trust that you will continue to remember who is really on your side. I wonder if there's a way to just fucking block the emperor from speaking to you ever. You cannot even get close to it. Or check in your brain. The devil whispers in your ear. 
Also, I have no idea how to open the Book of Thay, by the way, the necromancy book. Man, you scared the living hell out of me. Stupid ass earth elemental. Alright, how do I, um, you know, how do I go down? So, here's the thing. I don't actually know what to do right now, but... I could go talk to Voss. I should probably go talk to um, Wulbren at Nimbo or whatever the fuck that is. Because he gives us a rune bomb. Okay, I know that because I've done it previously. So I kind of just need to go get that real quick. There we go. Let me teleport my party, because they're slow as all hell. Okay. Ooh, a dragon. I think that's the first time we actually see a dragonborn. That's crazy. Okay. Yeah, that's actually the first time we see a dragonborn. Oh, I could have just teleported. That's actually the first time we see a Dragonborn in this playthrough, specifically. The fucking Dragonborn! Yes. <laughs> Alright, where is the thing? I think it's down here. Yes. We go down there. Enter the cave, get the bomb from Wulbren. These people are underneath the temple, if I recall. I'm not completely sure, though. Uh, no, 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 don't exit. There we go. They give us a bomb here, because they want us to bomb some area with some people, which we're not going to be doing. We're going to be attempting to not do that. I just realized they got a bunch of rune barrels. Rune powder barrels, yes. All right, Vulbren, let's talk. Good to see you. Wasn't sure you'd make it to the city. Regretting it yet? I just realized, even though I'm kind of speedrunning through this, it's still taking forever because of the cutscenes. I didn't imagine anything. As bad as this, the Gondians have handed Enver Gortash the means to bring about the end of liberty in Baldur's Gate. And the citizens have rolled out the red carpet for the new And before you say skip the cutscenes, I'm not gonna do that. I want the story to make sense for everybody, okay? My iron hands, what's left of the Harpers, and you, I hope. Alright, so. Gortash is a dead man. I got reasons of my own. As long as our objective is the same, the reason doesn't matter to me. We have a common enemy. But neither of us gets what we want until we deal with our biggest obstacle. The Steel Watch. They're a threat to you, me, and every man, woman, and child in this city. They act all civilized servants of the people, but they only serve one man. So when just kill the man. You, it will only get worse. Laws will change, freedoms will vanish, and soon you'll be accused and sentenced before you've even committed a crime. And the fucking Gondians are to blame for all of it. Ah, uh, the fucking Gondians. Yes. So, um, personally, I put the blame on Gortash. A tyrant's nothing without lackeys. And the Gondians are the perfect lackeys. Dangerously intelligent, pathetically submissive. Fair enough. The Steel Watchers, and they're building an army of them. We need the Gondians for Karlak, I believe. Well, I ain't gonna kill them. Despots in exchange for a stipend and the freedom to work in peace. They would have licked Saravok's boots, given the chance. And now they'll kiss Gortash's ring while this city screams. I had a plan to put a stop to them. But the way things are now, if we stick our heads above ground, the watchers are on us like flies on shit. 
Fair enough. So it is not exactly safe for us either. Neither was Moonrise. Fair enough. And look how that <laughs> turned out. You have a knack for passing among these bastards as if you were one of them. Maybe I can help. I'm sure you can. You just need a little assistance, and I can provide it. Give me that bomb, brother. Gondians are ingenious, but we're more than equal to them. There's nothing they can build that the Iron Hands can't tear down. I've built something unique for just that purpose. Mm -hmm. A broom powder bomb. First of its kind. Fifty wizards high on the weave couldn't summon this kind of firepower. Get the bomb inside the Gondian facility, and... Boom. Problem solved. Mm -hmm. Not before I save Carlax somehow. But uh, we are going with the Paladin one here. Innocence. You have no idea what you're talking about. The Gondians picked their side the minute they took orders from Gordash. If they had any courage, they'd have and refused him and died like heroes, reading. spitting when in his face. Motherfucker, no. nobody goes to their deaths willingly. Shut the fuck up. Uh, I'll find another way. Hmm. Nah, we find another way. Astarion keeps wanting to bomb people and to kill people. There is no other way. I'll try to fix them. But I believe in <laughs> second chances. When you come crawling back here, and you will, we can talk. Bro, give me the fucking bomb. No, he didn't give me the bomb this time. Motherfucker. Well... Well, shit. Anyway. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> I, I didn't get the bomb. I came here specifically for the bomb. <clears throat> and for the knowledge. But I... I didn't get the bomb. That's sad, bro. That's sad. Alright. So about these people. Where are they at? Let me just teleport. Alright. So. Talk to Voss. Speak with Raphael. Free Orpheus. Help Kithrak Voss. Hmm. I... Yeah, I don't know. I don't think Voss is gonna like us freeing Orpheus, to be fair. But we'll see. We'll see. Okay, where exactly is this dude at? He should be upstairs in some room here. Maybe. I don't actually know. Is it... Is it this room? No, it's not. Where the fuck you at, Voss? Okay. Got him. Also, this creature. I should speak up. Voss. Friend to the Comet. Lazel of Kalir, warrior of warriors. Bitch, you tried to get us killed at some point. Tell me you will free Gith's heir. Nah. Whew. DC 30. And I can't do that because Lazel's here. I, I'm not interested with uh, Pact with Devils. Shkaketh. Orpheus will be free. There is no cost too high to unshackle my people. Yes, there is. We can't deal with the fucking brain if we're dead. Huh. Is that my cost to pay? 
to be fair, but um, hmm, let's see now. Don't worry, I'll find a way to liberate Orpheus. I did not come this far for you to turn your back on the first mother's son. Githcards have Kim crashed. You put your trust in me, Voss. I plan to honor it. Good fucking luck yes. with that one. We're not and saving Orpheus. No choice but to trust. There is but one prism, and you are its key. Mm hmm. Raphael possesses a powerful relic called the Orphic Hammer. That hammer is the only thing capable of smashing the chains that bind the Prince of the Comet. I like how he just randomly knows, by the way. Free Orpheus from the prism. I will oh my god, the asset loading is painful. Our next actions. Together, we will yet free the true heir of Gith's blessed empire. He will free us from Vlakith and lead our Kithraki against the Geich. Is Tick. I will wait in the underground. Seek me when you have the hammer in hand. Uh, yeah, I won't Orpheus attack us again. The Prince of the Comet aches for Gith Yankee liberation more than he abhors Geich. He might seethe when you free him. He might gnash his teeth and slander your name. But he will see reason. I promise you. I don't think he will. That said, do we try? Mm, I don't know. The of Raphael's stature does not simply make camp on the shores of the Styx. He will have made a sanctuary for himself, a lavish one too, one that caters to his many vices. The House of Hope. We must find a way in. The House of Hope, you say? I couldn't ask for a name more fitting. Every house has an entrance, Istik. Even those in the Hells. You must find it. Fair enough. You are wasting your time and mine. Our true enemy is the Elder Brain. Focus your mind there. He's not wrong. We are literally wasting time here. And we're gonna have to fight Orpheus if I if I do free him. It's like almost guaranteed. <laughs> Because he did attack us previously as well. So I don't I don't trust Orpheus. Or Raphael or Voss. And I don't think I trust Lazel no more. Especially if I don't free Orpheus. Hmm. I'm sorry, where is this House of Hope anyway? <laughs> I don't actually know. Uh okay. Ah, another one of these bitches. Alright, so there's a bunch of steel watchers here, and I'm assuming I gotta just enter these houses, maybe? Okay, you know what? I should probably attempt... Let's see. Let me turn around, let me talk to Gold Dwarf here. rocks off limits. You got a problem? See Ellen there. Who? Where Ellen? I'm sorry. Oh. Blaze Ellen, of course. Talk to me. Sorry, chum. Can't let you through. Worms rocks closed for the day. But why? <laughs> Not closed to Duke Older Raven Guard's own son, surely. You having a laugh, devil boy? I know Raven Guard, and last I knew, his spawn wasn't sporting those horns. The joke's on you. No entry. That's the end of it. Hmm. Well, I am Baldurian. Let's try. Special occasion. Worms Rock is closed. Invited guests only. Okay, so what's so special about this occasion? It's probably Gortash and his fucking elder brain. Ordination is what? Lord Gortash is becoming ah. Archduke. All the peers came Figures. to pay regards. An assassin is in pursuit of Duke Ravenguard. I need to warn him. Hmm. 
What if I were to contribute to the Flaming Fist Orphans Fund? Huh. Occultist? To be fair, we are Warlock. Hmm. Let me try. Unless there's like another option. That's a 30 though. Ah, uh, fuck. Alright, I'll try this one, because I think this one would make the most sense, considering dude is, you know... Controlling Elder Brain and people. I'll try. I do have some inspiration. Okay! Okay, okay! I just... Okay. <laughs> Fair enough. You fool when he's got those bloody great steel watchers. But unprecedented times and all that. Head through. You want the last door on your right. Lower the gates. Special permission. Whoa, my camera just flew. I did not get uh, imprisoned, by the way. Staran is inspired. Look, rock solid alibi. Interesting. Hm. So he liked it. Interesting. Oh. We do not know how you gained entry. Motherfucker. Your trespass shall not be punished. Lord Gortash has been expecting you. How about you just send me off to him? Spades, but another takes its place. Confident, dominant, what? commanding. My most esteemed guest, we meet at last. Ah. I am Lord Enver Gortash. You are the prison bearer. Slayer of the dread General Ketherick Thorne. I welcome you to Baldur's Gate. My city. I see. Could we talk to you face to face, you know? Of course, of course. <laughs> My steel watchers are rather adept at keeping the peace, but not entirely suitable for polite conversation. Allow me to formally invite you to my inauguration. Okay. Make your way to the ceremonial hall. I mean, that was easy. <laughs> that was fucking easy. From Gortash himself. We just got in, straight up. There's Gortash. Enter the audience hall. I'm sorry, what now? So, confront Gortash. Get Gortash's netherstone. Yeah. Let's, let's try to get the stone. Let's see if that works. Also, if I die now, I'm gonna have to revify. Which is incredibly annoying, so I'm gonna have to try my hardest to make sure Kremiel doesn't die. Mizora? The fuck? The fuck are you doing here? Straight to your handler. And I didn't even have to whistle. Mizora, I've had enough. You owe your life to me. Time to end the pact. Feeling cheeky, are we? Most unbecoming. She's gonna bring the fucking contract clauses again. The absolute's puppet. A damned travesty, if you ask me. He's upstairs in Worms Rock, ordaining Gortash as Archduke. A splendid party, I hear. Perfect for crashing. Go on up. We'll talk after. Okay. I've got a long road ahead. So I'm gonna just straight up go for the audience hall, I guess. So well, Gortash isn't here, I hope. I assume. Uh, there's a bunch of steel watchers, though. Oh my god. Okay, so hold up. Confront Gortash. And then... I'm a little bit confused. I'm just a little bit confused here. Do I just go straight here? 
Or do I go back? He did tell me to come here to get the nether stone and now it's fucking switched locations? What the hell? Like, you know what? Fuck it. Oh, we're going straight in. It's time. Oh. He's just right here. Okay. Dearest Duke Ravengard. Thank you for joining me on this exceptional day. It's him. Gortash. This is it. I can practically taste his blood from here. My father's here, Karlak. Cool your fires. He must not come to harm. Well, this is a problem. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we can't really... I mean, we don't want to... We don't want to kill Will's papa. So we go with option number three. We attack Gortash, Raven Guard falls too. Fine. I'll wait for now. But that prick Gortash is going to pay. A moment, please, my friends. An old acquaintance has come to pay her respects. Please, Karlak. Come and say a proper hello. Pitch your tried your hardest. My respects! You're lucky I've agreed not to shove my boot up you! Ah, how I've missed your colourful turns of phrase. We must catch up just as soon as I've had words with your little friend. As for you, I understand congratulations are in order. Thorm's defeat hasn't gone unnoticed. You're known for who you are and for that nether stone that you carry. He's gonna want to make us join him, huh? The quakes are a clear warning. If nobody steps in soon, it'll free itself from the authority of the crown. I expect it'll start with turning the sword coasts infected. You among them. A prism of yours won't last indefinitely. Next, the grand design. The Mind Flayer Empire reborn. If we're lucky, we'll become slaves. If we're unlucky, well... Not the most thrilling of prospects, but it's a fate that can be avoided. If you and I come to an understanding, together we can still restore authority over the brain. Of course. Gortash always did have an eye for opportunity. Hmm. So about this understanding... There's an old wisdom. A brittle alliance can never be mended. It can only break. With Ketherick gone, Orin proved treacherous. Baal's chosen wants the Netherstones for herself. She only cares for blood. And your blood and mine are of particular interest to her. Hmm. Hmm. Do I ally with Gortash? As weird as that may sound, is that the play for right now? I'm not afraid of Warren, though. Her assassins hunt you even now. They are very efficient killers. Even someone with your talents should take heed. Okay. Orin changes shape faster than you and I change clothes. She might be anywhere. She's targeted me as well. I'm well protected, but she's extremely good at what she does. If Orin obtains all three nether stones, she'll plunge the coast into chaos and paint the city in blood. I That's can't let true. that happen. I want to lead this city to glory, not scorch its earth. Okay, so maybe Gorthash isn't that bad, question mark? You want me to believe you mean no harm to the city? I'd like to propose a pact. A divine oath sworn upon spirit and flesh. I do no harm to you, nor you to me. Furthermore, you'll have nothing to fear from my steel watch while our pact stands. Thorm's stone is yours to keep. Okay, hold up, what? You slay Orin and take her stone, you bring it here. So the three are united once again. Together, we rule Faerun as kings. No, 
more than kings, gods. We rule as the absolute. And my father? Your father will do whatever you command him to. Like any other son. I see, so he just wants to brainwash everybody. What do you mm. say? Shall we be allies? Mm. I can detect no deceit. This alliance could serve us well. And if it does not, hmm. we need not honor it. Hmm. Let's be allies, said the viper to the frog. True. Listen, I'm a nose breaker. <laughs> Oh, I am that motherfucker that will, will will literally break the oath again. <laughs> Let's go. Then let it be writ by the black hand of Bane. I, Lord Enver Gortash, swear I shall do you no harm. We will rise together over Toriel as a roaring sun. Mm -hmm. This isn't going to end well. Mark my words. Oh, I know. I understand your concerns, my old friend. That said, we are oath breakers. Demonstrate we will break our oath again, and we kill this motherfucker. Camp is compromised. After we deal with the rest. One among you is an imposter, a faceless. Who I, I can't say. Uh, I suggest a thorough investigation. To be fair, you'll find I Trixie is a doppelganger or a changeling. But who in the hell's? Hmm. The faceless in your camp is like a knife at your throat. Remove it quickly. Or any alliance between us would be exceedingly short-lived. Well, let's try to find out more about that plan. First, Orin the Red, bloody dagger of Baal, causes panic in the streets through killings in the Absolute's name. Next, the threat of the Absolute's monstrous armies formed by Merkel's general, Catherick Thor. In such circumstances, people crave strong leaders. Leaders that bring law, order, and protection. Leaders like me, Bane's unyielding hand, author of justice. Justice, my ass. You are soon to witness the people of Baldur's Gate granting me complete power over them. All out of fear of the Absolute. Next, I... We will declare curfew and begin infecting the masses. Our subjects will hear the voice of their absolute god. The faithful will do anything in the name of their god. Uh -huh. Hmm. About Corsus' uh, crown. Powerful connections. Let's leave it at that. And so begins your tyranny. Our tyranny and mm -hmm. our saviors, defenders of the Sword Coast, our loyal subjects will love us, not hate us. What comes next will be entirely their fault. Nah. Am I free to go? Soon. First, come and be witness as I make history. The first Archduke of Baldur's Gate. Hmm. I have no interest in this sham ceremony. Then allow me to peek it for you. Your brain twists and stretches under the watcher's gaze. The pain almost brings you to your knees. Motherfucker! You will follow me, and you will show... Dukes. That was not the plan! Distinguished dukes, patriarchs, dearest Raven Guard. I'm sorry, am I forced to see form. through this? A new chapter begins. Uh, how about I pick up my sword? Swearest thou by Baldurin's blade? <laughs> well, I chose poorly. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> I'm sorry, I felt like I had to do this. I broke my oath again. <laughs> oh, 
Ha oh, fuck. <gasps> well, at least he's a level 9, but my god, uh, my god, he has 400 HP. And 20 AC. And he has authority. He's a bow expert, dark devotion. My guy is dauntless. How about I just fucking deal with him right now? Somehow. What is this? Incineration caster? The fuck? Yo, hold up. What is that? You got fucking flaming turrets? Oh my god. What is... What, what the fuck is that? Uh, force curtain? Oh. Jesus, this place is stacked, bro. Like, actually, maybe this was a... Huh, not the play. We got fucking incineration casters. Jesus Christ, alright. Um, <laughs> um, how about I do this? Two of these for each. I'll try one for that one. Oh my god. Damn it, bro. What do you mean zero? Jesus. Okay, that did not work. Ay, ay, ay. I gotta get rid of these fucking incineration casters. Okay, that's not ideal. Um, I got a shade shield, I think. Like, actually. These motherfuckers look like they would hit very hard. What the fuck was that? Uh, <laughs> what was that about? Oh, you can go upstairs? Oh, that makes things a lot easier, actually. Good to know. I should have checked. Fuck your mom. No, stupid ass archer. Okay, this is a problem. <laughs> to be fair, this is the first time I attacked during a cutscene. Wait, he got made an archduke even though I fucking stopped it? Really? Uh oh, I am actually getting destroyed, bro. Is this how it ends? Nah. I can't have this. Okay, where exactly is a Starion? Can you hit this? Motherfucker! Bro. Okay. Fair enough. Well... <sighs> I actually think it's time. I think it's time for Wraith form. I can't attack, but I should be able to heal. I actually think it's time for the Wraith form, for once. And I think I heal before that. That's not ideal. Oh boy, this is Moonrise Towers all over again, but worse somehow. Oh my god, Wheel is getting destroyed. Okay, who the fuck is this? Oh. Okay, I love how nobody is targeting Cremio at all. Motherfucker, bro. Okay, this is hella problematic, actually. Okay. Uh, Karlak. Target is too far, it's fine. I'll just do this. Okay. 
Okay. And then I can't really do much anymore. I wish I could have healed. I'm gonna just do this for right now. Whoa, 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 whoa. Huh, whoa, what the fuck is that? I just got a bomb thrown at me. Fucking concussive grenata. Really? Oh my god. Oh my god, bro. These fucking still watchers, I swear to god, this is a problem. <laughs> I need the campion. I am hoping the campion remains. Yeah, this is an actual issue. Okay. Invalid. That's cringe. So, fucking Gortash can't do psychic thingies to these Steel Watchers, but I can't do psychic damage to them? That is crazy. Crazy annoying, that is. Of course, I can't use heals. Oh my god. That's not good. I'm not gonna lie, I was tempted to just hit the bomb, but yeah, let's not do that. Uh, victory, you say. I'm sorry, Lazel, but I'm not seeing it this time. Actually. And... I think it's... That's a fucking bonus action. Oh, uh, please... Okay, Solar Flare is an action, not a bonus action. That's good. So. Oh, boy. I need Jahira alive. What? This is a bonus action. Why am I not allowed to use Solar Flare anymore? Oh, my God. Well, I got action search for that now. I hope this works. Oh my god, bro. Bro. I'm dead. No, like I'm actually dead now. Ain't no way I fight these many Steel Watchers. When I'm doing like no damage to them. Oh my god. This fucking Dragon Ball class is not made to function properly. Why does it hit through walls? Motherfucker, he got... Oh my god, he's like two fucking stores up. Oh my god. Okay. Bro, I hope they can't enter here. Like, honestly. Oh, I'm getting hit through the fucking walls. Really? That's cool. No, I think I fucked up with that. Like, majorly. Ah, <sighs> I just made this infinitely harder. Like, like, uh, everybody, oh my god, there's like 50 people here, bro. Jesus Christ. Nah, I gotta, this is the one time I gotta save scum. Oh, okay. I, I have to, I'm sorry, I, th this is where I die if I don't. Like, actually. Because of that one fucking solar flare. I, if I don't save scum here, the one time I need to save scum, I am actually dead. And I'm not seeing the end of the game. <laughs> Especially since Kremiel is not on that anymore. I'm also losing my wings, by the way, if I die now. <sighs> you know, I've always kind yeah, okay. Let's not do that again. Let me... Let me see what happens in this other door. 
I dislike owls. Okay. We don't care about these people here. I couldn't agree more. Lord is expecting you. Please make your way to Things gonna happen to us. We'll tell them what happened. Okay, there's a teleport here. Hmm. Okay, so there's like nothing here. I just have to go there, huh? What is... There's a passageway here. Let me try. Kinda just wanted to kill Gortash, but apparently that is not the play. That is so not the play. Yeah, okay, let's not enter prison. Because that may, may be a bad idea. Actually? I'm going back. Okay. So. Is there a way to do this without waking up the guard and getting myself into trouble again? Okay, let's see now. Uh, where is the lock? Okay, please don't wake up. Okay, so technically this dude does not know that we are here. I'm gonna close the door behind me. Hopefully he don't see. Oh, but this one does. That's annoying. That is very annoying. Where the fuck you got? No! Okay, well. Shit. Okay, I thought this would be bad, but apparently it's fine. Fair enough. So who is in prison? The reason I'm checking here is because I want to see if there are any allies. Any possible allies in here. But there's like nobody here, literally. I don't think the game expected me to be here. Because I was actually expecting something else. Storage room. Okay, so we don't care about anything here. Well, we're going back out. I thought maybe... Maybe there's somebody here that we can save. To get some extra oomph, you know. But nope. Alright, this is problematic. Let's see if we can just bypass Gortash. Oh, why is this Mizora here? The fuck? to your handler and i didn't even have to whistle mizora i've had enough you yeah, we already know this dialogue Cheeky. heard about your father he's upstairs a splendid party okay yeah we already know about that dialogue so i'm gonna skip it so that's progress and the lower city yeah let's let's go to the lower city deal with casador I'm entering a different region. The fuck? Will this progress the story? I didn't kill Gortash. I, I think, to be honest, I think Gortash is gonna become the Archduke no matter what I do here because ain't no way I am fighting him in that room. I can't. Like, I literally cannot. I tried and I, I would have died if I didn't save scum this. So Mizora just teleported herself outside. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. 
Well, I guess we go back to Gortash. We, well, basically ally with him for now. We watch him do the thing because we cannot fight all of these. Kings, people, Baldurians, and it's... Yeah, I'm gonna skip the dialogue because we've seen it already. All your fires. Fine. We don't attack Where here. We... There's a bunch of innocent civilians. Uh, how I... As for you. Okay. The quakes are. I expect next. Not the most. Tick. Of course. God so... always did have an eye for opportunity. It's not. But it will not follow new orders unless the Neverstones are united to give the command. When it Fair enough. Executing its current orders, it will be free to do as it wishes. That will be bad for everyone. The crown's magic turned the brain into something the world has never seen. A nether brain. Its power is immense. Once it is freed from its shackles, I doubt we'll ever be able to bring it under control again. Okay. Let's do the understanding, do the oath. She only cares for now. For blood. And your blood and mine are of particular interest to her. Let me try oh, option two. Shape faster than you and I change clothes. Okay, so he just goes straight to the point, kind of. I can't Got it. let that happen. I want to leave this city to glory, not scorch its earth. I'd like to propose. Furthermore, you'll have nothing to fear from Thorn Stoke. Together and okay, fair enough. Hmm. Let's be allies. She doesn't like it, but we do it because we don't really have a choice. Then let it be rich by the black. This is I understand your camp. Who I okay. I mean, it's not me, but it could be anyone else. The faceless in your I'm sorry, did Astario not have dialogue last time? Remove it quickly. Or any alliance That's weird. would be exceedingly short-lived. How am I supposed to find Orin? Even horror has a home. Find her nest and slay her there. For all its charms, Baldur's Gate has long had a cancer. She's probably in the lower city. A hidden temple devoted to Baal. That's where mm -hmm. Orin became what she is. Where she worships. I see. So I was trying to rush the end of the game, but apparently and I cannot. It's where she hides from all right. Ashes. When she's not spilling blood in the streets. You're resourceful. I trust you'll sniff it out. If the trail goes cold, follow the bodies. Fair enough. Steel Watch can handle Orin, so... Yeah. Orin is... Elusive, shall we say. The grip of the Steel Watch may be tight, but sand still slips through its fingers. Some conflicts are best resolved quietly. The people are cattle, obedient until panicked. True. You carry the stone plucked from Merkel's chosen. Besides, I'm not ready to call you enemy. At least not yet. Okay. First, Orin the Red. Bloody dagger of next. All right, we already know about these. Next, we skip. The we skip. In the name of their god. Um. Am I free to go? Soon. First, come and be witness as I make history. The first Archduke of Baldur's Gate. Okay, I I don't really have an interest in this, and um. We hit that because both. Most of our people like that too, so. Then allow me. Alright, he's gonna kind of force us to sit here, it's fine. Alright, we're gonna sit through this from now on. I'm not gonna randomly start a fight that I cannot win again. From enemies within and without. I swear. Swearest thou true faith and fealty to the same, by word, deed, and decree, so that none may suffer? I swear. Gathered guests, grant ye consent? Hmm... Do I say nothing or do I prepare to object? You know what? I'm gonna have to. 
Uh, but I don't wanna... Honestly, I'm gonna save here. Say nothing. I'm gonna say nothing. Okay? Because I don't know if this is gonna start a fight. I don't wanna fight here again. Because if I fight here, I'm dead. Okay? I, I just cannot fight here for whatever reason. All the watchers, all the defenses here? Nah. This fighting here is not the play. I'm gonna say nothing, though. Enver Gortash, the council appoints you Archduke of Baldur's Gate. My friends, the Steel Watch stands ready. Let its blade fall on any who would diminish our city. And you, honored guest, will find me in my office above when you return. Do not come empty handed. Motherfucker. Alright. I kinda have to talk to Carla like, real quick. He looks the exact same as he did ten years ago. Fancy a coat, I suppose. <laughs> the Archduke of Baldur's Gate. What a sham. You don't really intend to be his ally, do you? For now, we have to. He doesn't need to know that. That's 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 exactly my point. <laughs> Fair enough. Now that he's within reach, I don't intend to let him slip away. All right, my camera is on the go again. So, <clears throat> is it uh, night time? Uh, game? Can I have a word? I I'm probably required to go to camp. I'm not gonna confront the motherfucker. We almost died doing that last time. So it's time we long rest. You know, let me go to camp first. We make camp. I need to see what is the the thing we got. We got a cutscene here somewhere. Okay, is it just a night event? It could just be a night event. There's a doggy. There's Trixie. And by the way, she doesn't speak like ever. See, like she literally has no dialogue with us. Which is kind of annoying actually. But it is what it is. To be fair, she's like a She's like she's like us, okay? She's like a player character. Not a not a story character. All right, we long rest. Okay, I was thinking maybe I can just skip the night time or something, but nope. There we go. A bit of salt on the top, and oh, you're here! I know you don't know me very well, but please give me a chance. I I thought you'd be hungry, so I made this for you. My mum's favorite recipe. Hey, we got a kid now. Also, a gift egg that just never wants to hatch. Smells delicious. You're up to something. Go on, spit it out. Well, I... I just wanted you to give me a chance. I didn't come to beg. I can work. I can cook for you. I can help. Let me prove it. Hmm... You're welcome here, I guess. His mama's never coming back, by the way. Do, do you want to try it? Sure. See? It's good, right? You know why? Because I put in my secret ingredient. Want me to tell you what it is? Hmm. Go on then. Put a special meat inside. <laughs> uh -oh. Such a sweet little kitten. Oh, how it screamed! Motherfucker, you put a cat, 
Oh, I see. Okay. Mm hmm. I'm gonna be honest, I kind of expected that. Crawling and sniffing and rooting around in the filth. Is it my nether stone you seek, little piggy? Or did the child's little pet leave you no appetite for the main cause? Do you not savor the slaughter of such innocence? Hmm. Hmm. What have you done to you now? Mm -hmm. Still gasping and gagging on the foul airs of Ball's temple. <laughs> Motherfucker, bro. I will not Why are you going after the kid? Her kind die too easily. Okay, Orin's dead. I don't like Orin. Better offering something new. Sticky, sweet, and delicious. He wants you. The murder lord wants me. But why? Kethric's killer turned the corpse lover to carrion when you took his stone. Oh, but he was a dull kill. No blood to spill, no guts to rip. A desiccated husk, all dust and hollow. You must be sharpened before you set your edge against my skin. <laughs> How exactly do I sharpen myself? Against the tyrant's throat, of course. <laughs> I see. You've heard Gortash's whispers. I see how your skull swarms with his promises. He whinges and wails over the crown of Carsus, wanting to command it without me. Oh, how I long to slit his poxy smile from ear to ear. But I can't touch him. He bound my blade when we first conspired. Gortash didn't want me at first. Didn't trust me. Got me to wag my tongue, swear an oath, never to hang him from the hooks. Trip drain him into father's open jaws. You must kill the tyrant. Take the netherstone from his corpse and bring it to my temple. There we slice and shred each other. The survivor claims the stones. What's left of the other is bars. Agree, and I will bring my assassins to heal. They watch you always, longing to spray the crimson from your veins. Hmm. Refuse me, and you'll learn what happens to those who defy Ball's doctrine. Hmm. So will your friend. Orin okay, never mind. I like Orin more than I like Gortash. At least she's fucking straight. And the chance to control the crown alone. Accept and you must kill Gortash. Refuse and the child's life may be forfeit. As might your own. Orin's assassins will hunt you like prey for slaughter. Um, listen, I'm an oath breaker. I don't mind breaking the alliance. It's only a matter of where and when. Because I can't be doing that while he's surrounded by fucking steel watchers. Hmm. Yeah. We fight for the final netherstone. That is... Obviously... The best course of action. We deal with Gortash, because that was the plan anyway. And then we go deal with uh, good old Orion over here. He saved the kid. Maybe not, but we try. Yeah, not probably dead anyway. Uh, and then after that, we deal with the brain. 
Also, since we have to go to Lower City, we deal with Casador. The promise of slaughter, a pain and humiliation. Good. All right, we have our priorities. Dropping into the gutter. Do not underestimate his steel watch. Seek their cradle in the lower city and skewer their skull meat. Okay. Make them rust and... Okay, that makes things even easier. Then you can gore the lordling again and again and again. But listen, listen close, bone killer. Step in my domain while the tyrant still sucks air, and I will carve your failure into your pretty plaything's skull. <laughs> Bring me his stone, and I will set the bait free. <laughs> Only then can you and I make exquisite butchery. The victor will set the world to slaughter. <laughs> That is Baal's offer. He will not make another. Hmm. Mm. Yeah, we, we take this. We take this. I can't fight both Orin and fucking Gortash at the same time. I gotta choose one. And I chose to ally with Gortash for right now. And then we go in the lower city. We deal with Kazador. We deal with the Steel Watch. We go back, we... Fuck Gortash up. And then we go deal with the Orin. And then we deal with the Elder Brain. Or the Nether Brain, how they call it nowadays. Alright. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I actually can't wait to finish this story and to... To do the evil playthrough next time when I boot up the game. After I finish, that is. And after maybe I make another new mod collection. We'll see. Anyway. I'll see you in the next video.